Sometimes in life, the biggest question that goes unanswered, am I around the right company? We'll get into it after the intro. getting right into it. Are you around the right company? Think about what I'm saying now. It's the difference between being around a company that makes you feel good, makes you laugh, enjoy life. Nothing wrong with those people. Absolutely necessary. You should always find yourself amongst those who love life, want to see life, want to want to just get the maximum, you know, results that they can possibly get out of it. You should be around them. Here's the only thing though. You have to learn how to know and identify if it's the right company for specific reasons, okay? If you wanna grow and develop, some of the age old cliches that we've heard before, one in particular is if you hang around four millionaires, you're bound to be the fifth. Sometimes it's just that simple. You have to put yourself in the presence in the company of people who get it, who are of like mind. It's not about trying to emulate them or trying to copy what you see them do, but it does require you to understand that you do have to, at the very least, be in the company of those who have that understanding, okay? Nothing against anybody else. Like I say, we all gonna have people in our lives for reasons, and we gonna have some people in our lives for seasons. So that's gonna naturally change and grow and develop as it is anyway. But when it comes to identifying the right company, sometimes that's a little bit different. Like I say, when it comes to business, you know, you have to be able to understand those who are for you and those who are holding on. Those who are just riding the coattails of what you're trying to create and develop versus those who understand that, you know, let me let this person go and go be great. Because if they go and be great, guess what? If our bond and our relationship is what it is, they'll look back. They'll reach back. They'll try to make that adjustment to be able to bring us along. But if we don't do that, and I hold on to this person, then they can never be great because I can see that they value me to the point where it's actually potentially slowing them down from growing and developing. You know, when we grow up, if you think about it, you always had at least that one homeboy, that one homegirl that always was a little bit different than everybody else. They created their own lane. They created their own way of looking at things, you know what I'm saying, whatever that situation may be. And they were amongst us and they were in our company, but at some point or another, they had to take a leap of faith and make adjustments and make changes and they had to go in a different direction. It wasn't that they were writing us off or if it was you and you were the person, it's not that you were writing the company that you were keeping off, you just understood that you got to a point where you had to make an adjustment and you had to at the very least evaluate if that particular company was going to stagnate you or be a part of your growth and development. See, I asked that question, do you recognize or if you even take the time to evaluate whether or not it's the right company or not because if you never do that, then growing is going to be virtually impossible. You don't have to carve people out of your life. You don't have to write them off. But you do have to be honest and truthful with yourself. you got to make that decision. And you got to really ask that question. If you are, congratulations. Keep on trucking and keep on being great. And when you get an opportunity, always make sure that you drop a jewel or two for somebody else to be able to hold on to and grow and develop as well. But if you're not and you're in the wrong company, if you're a good person, but you just keep winding up in ruts and you can't understand why can't I get any further in life and why am I at the same point that I always get to and why it's because sometimes the company that you keep may hinder your growth and your development. As always, I appreciate the time and I appreciate the ear. And like I tell you all all the time, go and be great. Go be great, man. Be an example for somebody. You never know who's paying attention. Y'all be safe, man. Peace. For more content like this, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, family. Peace.